Hey, hey, everyone. I am here to do a really fun DIY with you, um, making hand soap. So, I have my lovely assistant here. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Olivia. <laughs> and I'm going to softball in a few minutes. She totally is. Okay, so we gotta hurry. And this is what I'm wearing. Luckily, this will only take a few minutes, right? Okay. So, um, I love making hand soap. It's super cheap and really easy to do and non-toxic, which is a huge plus, right? So, I, you can do it three ways. <laughs> well, you can a actually make two different types of hand soap, but I'm talking about the containers first. So, I like to repurpose old foaming hand soap bottles if I would like a foaming concoction. And you can actually get the labels off with a little bit of lemon essential oil, which is really amazing. Comes right off. If you peel the label off, put a drop of lemon on there, rub it in, let it sit for a minute, it wipes right off. So no more dealing with those pesky labels. Um, and then I also, this, I'm also a huge fan of buying a bunch of mason jars. And you can go on Amazon and actually buy the tops for these really cheaply and they just fit right on your mason jar. Um, so I have these all over my house because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the liquid, or, sorry, I'm not a huge fan of the foaming soap. And so I like the liquid soap. Or you can just reuse what you already have. So pick your fancy of a bottle. Yes, my assistant, Olivia. <laughs> well, oh, I forgot. You forgot? Okay. Let me see if I can rethink it. Sounds good. In the meantime, <laughs> we are going to make Lick, uh, foaming hand soap first, and I'll show you how to make a liquid. So you would need a foaming pump. Oh, um, I remember that. Okay, great. What my dad it? kind of used a little trick with my helmet for softball. He had a lot of trouble getting the top off. Oh. Hmm. We're going to have to tell Daddy about the lemon secret, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so the foaming hand soap, there are three simple ingredients. Water, castile soap, and essential oils. So super easy to do. Any kind. Any kind. Any okay. kind of essential oils. I would right. choose Hope if I were you as mom's girl. <laughs> she loves this essential oil blend, Hope. It's amazing. Um, I use for that the, on my fidget spinner. For her fidget spinner. The um, Castile soap I would recommend is the unscented version because, remember, when you get synthetic scents in your products, that's where the endocrine disruptors come in. So you don't want none of that. All right, so what we're going to do is open up our bottle, my handy-dandy assistant. And you just simply put two tablespoons of castile soap into an eight, a 12 ounce container. Super easy to do. So I don't measure anything because ain't nobody got time for that when they got four kids. And so I just do a little squirt and a little squirt. Looks good to me. You got soap on my face. No, that's okay. Well, it's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. It Especially coming weird. out of school. That's a really and good thing. And it feels weird. It does. Okay. So I, for my foaming hand soaps in my kitchen, I really love to use rosemary and lemon to make my scent because lemon is a natural degreaser because it's rich in a constituent called D-limonene, which is a, kind of a natural solvent. And so it gets that grease off tough things. And rosemary just smells lovely in your kitchen, right? And so I use um, six drops of rosemary. Or would you like to do this? <laughs> Great. Six drops of rosemary in there. Oh my goodness, there we One, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, it's counting exercises with your kids. So fun. Well, I already right. know how Here, to Here, you count. can wipe your hands off on this towel. Okay. And then lemon, my dear, we need four drops of lemon. So the ratio is six drops of rosemary to four drops of lemon. This will take a while. Three, <laughs> four. Oh. Well, someone's going to get a little extra help. So you can either um, fill this with tap water, which is totally fine. The only time you need to really use distilled water is if you need a long shelf life on something because you want the minerals taken out of water. That way it doesn't bind to the oil. So I hope you go through hand soap quickly. So surely you can use tap water, right? So you just fill it literally up to the top. And voila, <laughs> foaming hand soap. Super easy to do, right? Mm -hmm. So that is lemon and rosemary foaming hand soap. Okay. Ta-da. All easy and ready to do. Right here for you. See, I'm going to throw it around for you. Okay. So the next thing I love to make is, like I said, I love liquid hand soap. I'm not a huge foaming 
hand soap kind of person. So what we're gonna do for that is there's a couple different ingredients. You use all the same ingredients you use for the foaming version. So we'll go ahead and get our jar ready. Would you like to do the womp womp of Castile soap yeah. this time? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> it's not that easy, is it? <laughs> okay. That looks about right. All right. That's not easy for a big bottle. <laughs> I like to add a little bit of vitamin E in there because it just is really lovely for skin. So I just put a splash in there. Like I said, it's real precise. There you go. Okay, and then a little bit of sweet almond oil because that is also really good for skin. That's what happens when you have assistance. It takes a little bit longer. I could have knocked this out about five minutes ago. Okay, so I my favorite scent around our house for uh, hand soaps is eucalyptus radiata and spearmint together. It makes a lovely combination. So I do six of eucalyptus radiata and if you have another version of eucalyptus that's totally fine too i just really like the smell of radiata so that's the one i use and then spearmint it's a lovely combination and that's four four of spearmint perfect okay water again so i'll just use it here this time i have to go over to my sink um, I have these all over my house too by my diffusers because ain't, I got I have zero time to go find a source of water. I just put them by all my diffusers. You can literally get them at IKEA for a dollar. So, and then there's your hand soap. Super easy to do. Just screw your lid on. Screw it on. And there you go. Pains of soap if you do that. <laughs> so, liquid or foaming, whichever you fancy. I would go with liquid. You would go with liquid. Me too. I don't like foaming. Hudson, would you go with liquid or foaming? He's looking at me like I'm nuts. Okay, you can also spice up your hand soaps with thieves, which is a really great option. I love thieves for germ boosting. Uh, I love the combination of lemon and lemon, or sorry, lemon myrtle and orange too. That's really great. I do six of lemon myrtle, four of orange, and then lavender is another fabulous option and citrus fresh. What's your favorite scent? Mm -hmm. Lavender. Don't move. Lavender. Lavender. Or thieves. Or thieves. Hey, please don't move that. Thanks. I got a helper on the other side. Okay. Um, so, not <laughs> so that's it for our DIY. Um, thanks for tuning in. Bye.